Well, this is a strange question. Right. Uh, have you smelled your car lately? No. Have you tasted your car lately? Definitely not. Yeah, I know it, it, <laughs> that's not the normal question, but it turns out some newer model vehicles are partly made up of food ingredients. It's actually part of being more environmentally friendly, and one car in particular put a Sacramento chef to the test and left our own Jeff Marr with quite an appetite. The sights and smells of Mulvaney's kitchen, preparing for yet another busy lunch crowd. But today's menu is much different. Chef Patrick Mulvaney is putting together a variety of items based on food ingredients that can be found in this car parked outside, the brand new Ford Fusion. Now, why would a car be manufactured made up partly of food ingredients? To be more sustainable. We're diverting a lot of material from landfills by using those materials in the components in our cars. And those components include coconut in the trunk for the load floors. Some of the fiber can be used for a non-woven textile. Soy in the seat foam, that way they don't have to use as much petroleum. And wheat straw for reinforced plastic. And it's not something that we would try to sell the vehicle on, but it's definitely something people appreciate once they find it out. And it's not just food. Dandelions are being tested for future development in tires. Some of the seat fabric is made from recycled soda bottles and denim for sound insulation on the carpeting. I wondered if licking the hood would taste like raspberry. No, I don't think so, and I wouldn't recommend that either. <laughs> so I took a bite out of the seat. Didn't taste so good. But Chef Mulvaney's auto menu sure did, and he says creating the menu was a bit of a challenge. Hey, wow, what do you, what do, you do with straw? Well, so what we did was roast chicken on a bed of straw, so you get that flavor of the field without actually eating the straw itself. He also made ahi tartar, but used dandelion greens and topped it off with a salsa verde, chalupas with roasted chicken and a soybean pesto, and what turned out to be my favorite, lamb meatballs with a hatched chili on top. Mmm. Oh, that was tasty. That tastes like a Ford. <laughs> wow. But I had trouble hitting the brakes on my cravings. I've never had a lamb meatball. Oh. They're pretty good. I should just finish the whole plate. Absolutely, go ahead, and we'd like to apologize to <laughs> the rest of the people who are coming today for uh, not getting any. There won't be any you for know, anybody. You know who to call. <laughs> He's on the website. Yes, I am. <laughs> That was Jeff Marr reporting. I didn't hear where lamb was in the car, though. Did, did no, he, did I, I didn't hear about the lamb. I, I don't think the there's any meat products that, in the yeah. car. Maybe it was something the lamb was cooked, up, cooked on, like the hay-baked chicken. Maybe that was it, yeah. That was uh, very interesting, and Jeff tells us that Chef Mulvaney designed that menu for a one-day mm -hmm. private event. They had bloggers, they had writers, and they had politicians. But he said, yeah, he liked some of the items so much that the chef may add them to the permanent menu, including that hay-baked chicken. That but no raspberry-flavored car hoods. Don't lick the car hood. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Try and remember that, Dan.